charge Sonico now, who's using a Tango. If he gets a couple bashes, this could be a potential first blood. Trixie, one right click, two. No bashes just yet. He's going for another. He gets the bash, Sonico. He gets slowed, though. He's not getting the second right click he needs. Oh, Trixie. Oh, he doesn't get the kill on that right click either. And this slows from a boss. The second charge. Oh, my God. He's got the first blood. He's trying to juke around the trees now. He's kind of uh, playing with Havost a little bit here. Ring around to Rosie. Let's uh, see what Havost sees, and well, he'll go down in return. Interesting. Oh boy. Vengscore hiding in the trees, and I don't think this is going to save him. He's two mana short of a stun. Can he get it off that last right click? Not going to finish him off the charge on Dendi. This may be two more kills going the way of four anchors. Dendi, he's surrounded. All he can do is maybe turn and throw some razors, but two more kills to four anchors. We'll see. There's a two-minute delay. Charge it bottom lane. Havos. Can you get jumped on? There's a purification to follow this one up. Havos gets hit by the second bash. Trixie. The RNG is pretty real here. As Sonico may be next in line here. Trixie going to take off the Nightmare while repelled. And Sonico, one more right click. He goes down. They're keeping up the aggression. Nice and fine here, Sindarin. Yeah, if you can get four kills in the laning phase with... They go. They've got the purification and... The Bane, with mana, has a level 2 brain sap here, and it looks like Havol's gonna just instantly get picked off again, trying to hide underneath these trees. He's picked up the Morbid Mask, but one more right click, down he goes. Four anchors, keeping things up, and Trixie gonna TP himself out. Never see from a fire range Drow lineup, because that lineup is built to win the lanes by just having raw damage, and then transitioning into pushing as well. They will be finding one kill here on Boogie. Uh, I think that's gonna be it, though, as TP was cancelled from Volix. And Trixie. Oh, Bobos mid lane gets the stun off the waveform and Dendi. Oh, nice two hero RP. Is there a skewer backwards? There is. Nemfi has a skewer, no mana for a shockwave, and he stays alive. And with the TP in from the jug, the Omni slash kill goes on to Dendi. And DK Phobos getting charged here. Four anchors just reading Navi so well here. Not maxing out skewer, but just getting these two points that he has, and then. Maxing out in power now to oh, just really lane. get the tumble man out of control. Now they get a good initiation off with the Morphling stun. They get two kills. That right click damage. It was a DD rune for Dendi. He gets a double. It feels like the first actual um, miscommunication because the way you perform. Uh oh. That kills you. Let the charge of Trixie hit, and then you blink skewer. But they try to initiate. We, we're, we're losing you, Cinderin. I'm gonna have to. Oh, we're gonna see a TP out from a Tumble Man. Swap gonna cancel it. I don't know if this uh, this changes. Oh, we uh, we don't have Cinderin. Let me see. All right, we've we've got no Cinderin. <laughs> well, apparently you don't do anything. You uh, <laughs> you let things happen here. Valix now gonna get pushed back here. They're gonna go in. There's your RP from your Magnus. Catches out only two with the Omni slash follow up, but. The damage output wasn't really there. I'm not sure if the Jug even had an Empower on and Well, Na'Vi just gonna destroy four anchors in their own base. It's three heroes on the sidelines. Two heroes gonna buy back out after this and melee racks being claimed. Trixie gonna charge back through. Catches out pretty much everyone. Havals on the back line. Gets a gust off. Trixie didn't actually get hit by this, but he hasn't got a Nether Strike anyways. Two more on the sidelines. Matumba Man fleeing away. And Na'Vi look like they may have game one secured. Hopefully for the better, so I can try to get being brought down. I'm getting new, new, new team speak information from Cinder in. I'll uh, get back into that one in just a second here. Nemphi gonna be uh, pressured out of this lane. It looks like I imagine a GG call coming any second now. Four anchors, just getting out DPS. Navi second lane of Rax. GG is called. Guys, sorry for some of the uh, audio issues coming out from Cinderin. We're going to try to fix things up during the break before game two of this best of three. But Na'Vi have taken game one against the four anchors and sea captain. We'll see if they can bounce back or if it's going to be a Na'Vi 2-0. So guys, stick around. Don't go anywhere. We're going to fix up some of these audio issues and hopefully bring you a crisp sounding game two. I'm God, joining me with Cinderin.